In this second tutorial on um, Visual Basic console programs and using Visual Studio 2010, uh, we're going to create a simple program which uh, asks the user to enter their name and just displays the name back to them with a simple message. Now um, I've got the code window open. If you're not sure how to get to this stage then you need to look at the first tutorial in the series which gives you an introduction to Visual Studio and shows you how to create a program and get to this code window. So if you don't know how to get here, stop and go and look at the um, previous tutorial. Okay, so I've got my window open. I know that um, I type my code, my Visual Basic code, between the two statements that are already there. So Visual Studio puts these in and my code goes between them. So between those. I always indent the code. Let's just create a bit of room to make it obvious. I always tab forward so my cursor's um, slightly indented so I can see what I'm doing. So what the program is going to do is ask a user for their name. They enter their name. It's just then going to display a welcome message to them with their name included. That's it. First thing I've got to do though is I've got to uh, declare a variable. I've got to have something that's going to hold the user's name when they enter it. And as we know, when we want to uh, a program to hold something in memory, we have to create a variable. Now in Visual Basic, you create a variable using the dim statement. Uh, we can name the variable whatever we want, but we're going to use the proper conventions, the proper ways of naming variables. This variable is going to hold the user name, so I'm going to call it user name. And notice that I've used capital U and capital name, and it's all one word. And this is going to have text, so we define it as string. That's the data type. Later tutorials, we're going to look at data types, so I'm not going to go into that anymore. So we've now told the program there's an area of memory we want to uh, have, and we're going to put something into it and we call in this area of memory username. Let's first of all prompt the user. We need to prompt the user to enter their name. So what we need to do is write something to the console screen. So we type in console as the first thing which tells uh, Visual Basic that what we're going to do is going to affect the console the black and white, the black window that pops up as the console. I'm going to put console dot and now we're going to say what we want to do to the console you can see in the drop down it's already come to right line as the default it's the most common thing so what we've said so far is uh, we want to do something to the console and what we want to do is write a line to the console but what we haven't said is what we want to write and we do that within these brackets and we put it in quotes because it's text and we're going to just give the user a message please enter your name close the quotes and then we're done. So that's our first line of code. Now we need to write the line of code that's going to take what the user enters and put it into the variable username, this part of memory that we've reserved. So what we do for that is we first of all get the variable. Now notice as I type US um, this part of Visual Studio which is called IntelliSense tries to come up with some options and it's actually prompting me with the word username, the variable. If I double click it puts it in for me, I could have typed it. And what I'm going to do is next is what's called an assignment. I'm going to assign I or put something into that username. So I put the equals on this side and then I write the programming statement if I can type it correctly which is again I'm going to uh, get something from the console. So I tell Visual Basic what we're going to do next affects the console and what I want to do is read something from the console and I want to read a line as you can see it's there anyway I could have double clicked and that's it as I press enter so we're actually ready to roll here we've got username uh, console.read line um, what that's going to do is read whatever the user types in and it's going to put it whatever they type in and store it in username so at this point I've got the user's name and I've got it held in memory. Now I'm just going to display it back to them with a message and to write something to the console 
to output to the console I need to use this right line again so once again I type console first to tell Visual Basic I'm going to do something to the console and what I'm going to do is write and as you can see I'm just going to take that write a line and I'm going to write a message to the screen so I'm going to start the message off with text I put it in quotes uh, and I'm just going to put welcome if I could spell it properly welcome a space now what I'm going to do is I need to join onto this message the user's name now I know the user's name is held in this variable so I'm going to join it to my statement the way you join it is you use this what's called the ampersand character you do shift and 7 on your keyboard and you get the ampersand character and that joins it together and now I need to just put the username the variable username got to close the brackets so now what I've got is um, I'm going to write a line and I'm going to write it to the console and what I'm going to write is contained in the brackets which is the word welcome then there's a space and then there it'd be joined with whatever's in the variable username whatever's been typed in one final thing I always need to type is an additional read line which basically make sure that the what we've got here what we have on the console this message will stay on screen otherwise it's too fast the message will just flash up and the program will finish what this will do is stop the program because the program will wait for someone to input something before anything else happens now let's just tidy up the code right we're ready to go let's see what we get so I press play okay so far so good so my uh, console windows appeared and it's appeared with the very first statement please enter your name and the, the flashing cursor tells me that it's now waiting for input so I'm just going to type in my name and I press enter and then it just outputs the message so basically what's happened is we've had please enter your name has appeared on screen that's the first statement sorry the first statement is reserving or creating a variable so we create a variable called username which reserves part of the memory of the computer to hold the name in uh, our next statement is to prompt the user by saying please enter your name which we've done here our next statement says okay let's read whatever the user types in so let's read what they type in for their name here console.readline and put it and the equal sign does that for us put it into the variable so at this stage of the program we've uh, prompted please enter your name the user has typed in their name like Paul and it's stored in this variable called username final part of the program is to write a message to back to the screen to the console screen which is welcome plus and this ampersand whatever's in the variable username okay and that's what we've had in the program so let's just run it one more time Let's go through the steps so we prompt please enter your name appears first I type in whatever I want and whatever by the way that I type in numbers or whatever because it's a string will be accepted I press enter and it just welcomes me back on there now have a go at that yourself if you just want to practice so you're practicing writing to the screen reading something off the screen and putting it into a variable